Hello again. This is Todd Collins. We're here with Bob Reed. Just got done with week seven of Bob's uh, Basics of Network Marketing. Uh, talked quite a bit tonight about a lot of a lot of great concepts, but the comparison that Bob just got done making, uh, actually from the beginning, he talked about what a franchise is. If you want to go out and start your own business and not be getting and not going to a job every day where you're just getting by and you're just earning a paycheck, you have an opportunity in this country or almost every country there, that there is to start a business. And you can go out and do the 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 20 hour a day, seven days a week, getting a business up and running. I know I've been there, done that myself personally. Um, or you can go buy a franchise, spend three, four hundred million, uh, three, four hundred thousand million dollars, buy a franchise and have all the expenses and all the things. Or you can go work with a company in network marketing like 7K Metals or any of the other ones that are out there. And, and Bob made a great point. This is the right company, right time, right opportunity, right market, right just about everything that could perfectly align does right now with this, this opportunity. But the one thing Bob alluded on just a little bit at the beginning was if you're in own, your own, own your own company, I don't care if you have a lemonade stand or you own a landscaping company or you buy a couple planes and you're going to do pi private pilot uh, uh, running people around the country. Every one of those has, businesses have something that we really don't have in 7K and that's risk. In 7K, 7K, the company takes and assumes all that risk for us. They have the legal team. They have all the insurance. They have all the shipping exposure. They have all the employees. They have the customer support. The, the mass part of business uh, that sucks people dry where they don't turn a profit for that three to five to seven years. And that's if they even survive. And Bob alluded to the fact that so I think it's 90 something percent of most startups fail in the first one year. Um, very few of them make it to the three to five to seven year mark. Uh, but between payroll and, and litigation that comes your direction, like a bat out of hell, the minute you have any kind of money, any kind of assets, someone's going to slip on the lemon peel out in front of your lemonade stand and sue you for all your ice cubes. They're going to find a way to take whatever you've worked to earn. And in this business, we really have the opportunity to benefit from all of the expertise that 7K, uh, their founders, the C-level leaders, the guys like Bob Reed and several other of the top people in the industry have helped form this into this really great opportunity. And you don't have to deal with the employee status, the employee problems and people not showing up to work and payroll issues and all those things. You get to just go be a person and go belly to belly with the people in your sphere of influence that you have and show them this opportunity and find out if it's right for them. So Bob, I want to make sure that everybody here understands. I love what you said. It's not a get rich quick thing. It's not. Uh, even though some of us did do well in the first six months or year we were in the business, Wayne Clark's a good example of that. I personally have sat with Wayne Clark and heard how hard that man, along with you, worked every day for weeks on end, months on end, to get him up to exec the first executive gold 7K I ever had. Um, I know what I had to do to get what I where I ended up in 7K and what I still have to continue to do today. Um, it's not going to be a get rich quick uh, get rich quick scheme. I can never say that. But if you do a little bit of consistent progressive things in these seven uh, classes that Bob's taught over the last eight weeks, we did have one week we took off when Bob was traveling. Um, you have all of the things that you need in front of you to do very, very well, but you need to plan on that slow and steady pace. You can go work real hard and do do well fast, but if you just do the minimums that Bob's talking about here year over year over year, that doubling chart that Bob put up, one of his pieces of paper, that over 12 years, I think it was there, you had 4,000 something members in your organization. If you take 2,000 on each side, split that up and multiply that times a 15 or $20 a month auto saver, you have built a substantial uh, supplemental income, secondary income, whatever you want to call it. Maybe you've been able to quit your real job and this is now your full-time business. But if you're looking at making forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year as ah, it's not worth five or 10 hours a week right now, I don't know anywhere else you're going to pull that off other than network marketing, which is why even after 48 years, 49 years, I think I was before I got into 7K Metals, I never believed that network marketing was a business for me. 
And I am a salesperson. I am someone that does like to talk to people. I am someone with a large sphere of influence. I just didn't look at it as a viable business model. Um, I had been exposed to probably three, four, five, maybe good products, whether it was um, uh, ways to get skinny, whether it was ways to look younger, whatever it was, didn't matter what it was. And every month that there was nothing at the end of the month, the product was gone. I used it and I had to buy it again. And here I buy it and then I have it. I just got done doing some inventory today. And I think most of you've heard you know, several stories from people on here over the last seven weeks. I'm one of those people that never had a savings account. I had some 401ks because the company matched. Most often along the way, something happened in life and I had to liquidate those and take the 10% hit and pay the tax penalties. And at the end of the day, three years ago, I had this much in a savings account, exactly zero dollars. COVID was a big part of that because I had to live on some of that through some of that process that we went through. A lot of people did too. But I looked around, the job that I had was basically hanging by a thread. I hated it. I didn't have any savings. I was working every month to try and make a quota at the company that I worked at. And I was going nowhere in life other than I had a nice weekly paycheck or biweekly paycheck. And then I got exposed to network marketing. And I got to say, and all props do here, Bob, had you not wrapped your arms around me three or four weeks into me being exposed to 7K and the growth system that we put in place with the, some of the, the, the blessings that God gave me in this industry, had you not got a hold of me, I'd have probably burnt out of this industry too, because I'd have been doing it all the wrong way for all this time. I don't think I'd have made it. But man, I'll tell you right now, I wish I could go back 20 years old and not, instead of going to college, take Bob's seven week class right now and maybe watch it a few times other than just once uh, where I could be at this stage of my life had that opportunity presented it to me. I think everybody here that's over the age of about 35 or so that may or may not have kids that are growing up to that teenage range. This is the time to teach your children how to do this business. Help them. Give them the tools, the attitudes, and techniques. Give them the support. Get them in your downline. I'm really proud to say the Collins family has everyone with that last name has been enrolled in 7K Metals business. We've taught some of the kids to do it. Some of them are doing really well. Some of them don't see the benefit of it yet, but they've all been exposed to it at least. Anyway, if you have a question, go ahead and stick your hand up and ask it. Uh, Bob will be happy to answer anything he can. And if you've got something for me, let me know. I'll be happy to go too. Don't everybody jump at once here. <laughs> you know, I always find this very amusing. Uh, you know, here's your chance to really get your questions answered. You've got a presidential goal, Todd Collins, and, and you got me here. And don't don't be shy. If you got a question, you know, it doesn't matter what's it what it what it's on. Uh you got a question about how this works, how that works, uh, you know, uh, ask it because not only you may have that question, but there may be several others and people who are listening may have that same question and they all get to learn from the question that you ask. So don't feel shy and embarrassed. But I will I will say one other thing, Todd, and man, did you hit did you hit it on the on the nail on on the head with uh, your your comments. If if our if everybody here would just do that job description, commit to that ten hours for the next two years, doing these seven lessons, and actually not just reading about them each time or going over and listening to them, but actually putting them into action and not have fear of failure because you fail your way to success in this business. I don't know how many times I need to say this. In, in, in network marketing, you fail your way to success and you do it by doing. And there is, you, you, you don't have the, you're, you're not losing thousands and thousands of dollars. You're not sinking money in. You're putting it at risk. Because if you're doing the business the way that I, that we teach you, and, and you actually have a job, job, just over broke situation, that's a job, 
where you're a slave to someone else, you're helping them get wealthy. That's what a job is. If, if you got that, your 1099 tax benefits alone will, will accumulate wealth for you instead of those taxes going to the government. Those taxes are going to be buying you auto savers and paying for your membership and paying for um, a little bit of bullion you're buying. And, and that's everyone on this call. That's everyone, even for retired people, because retired people are still paying taxes. They're not supposed to, but they are. <laughs> and the government changed the rules all the time. I'm yep. going gonna, gonna to share my screen one thing. I know we got some hands up, and so I want to get to them. But I want to show everyone, which I didn't get in that recording, but I want to show everyone why the band F is so important to you and, and every one of you where all these tools, you don't have to email them. You don't have to send them to people. Uh, and it doesn't matter which team. You're on the Todd Father team. You're on the Go for Go team. There's a, everybody. I, I've got, like I said, there's 16 teams. But, and you can go to your band app, not just on your phone, but also on the internet. And it's band.us. And then you just log into your account if you're already in it. Well, you'll see these things called attachments right here. Well, every attachment that I talk about, that I provide, they're uploaded into this list of attachments. Now, you can search for titles, but you can click on that little view all, or you can touch that view all. Now, it's that little folder with a dot in it, the bottom of your screen on your band app. You can go through these and everything is here that you can download, print out, bring, get into your computer. You have every attachment, everything I talked about tonight. They're going to be all uploaded along with the video. Even though most of them are already in here, but they're going to be specific with that post. So they're already right there so that you can get them. And so that's why the band app is such an essential part of the tool and it's so easy duplicatable from one group to the next group and in the future is you have a single place where you can find everything easily and it's easily duplicated so let's get to the questions yeah real, real quick before you do that bob people are going to start dropping off here because of the time uh, i do want to remind everybody we'll continue to be here uh, my plan is every thursday either myself or Mike Mandato or Derek French will host. I've got a couple things traveling wise over the next few weeks. Uh, Bob will be a guest host again a couple different times. Uh, I think Bob just froze again. I don't know if we lost him. Uh, but our my plan here is is one of the next three weeks we're going to do a just Q and A on objection handling. Uh, I'll have a few of the standard ones that everybody always asks me about. I'll ask Bob. He'll give his response. What he does. Uh, as far as uh, overcoming those object objections. And then we'll also open it up for Q&A to you guys to fire at him, everything you've got. I mean, this guy has got more knowledge in his little finger than we all do uh, probably combined here uh, cumulatively um, uh, when it comes to network marketing and objection handling and understanding how, to, how the why 7K works and how to answer those things so that people don't... Uh, that they, they, the, if we overcome the objections and ask the question, do you have any reason why you wouldn't want to enroll now? Uh, it, when they stop saying, no, I don't have one, the next thing is, is what, how, where can I send that link? Uh, and then the other thing I was going to say, um, there are two things. Oh, the other one that I want to do um, over the next three or four weeks uh, is just have Bob uh, kind of go through the, the very fundamentals of the 7K Metals membership, the things that he talks about in a presentation, uh, it, what are the hot topics that most people are interested in? Because as you all know, 7K Metals has changed some of the member benefits. The health insurance has changed a little bit. The sound money wallet's changed a little bit. And I want to make sure that we are all up to speed on, the, on this group here that are looking to be the next leaders for 7K, that we know how to effectively present uh, this. And then the last thing before I give it back to Bob, which I still don't see him back on the screen yet, um, is uh, I want to make sure that we have um, 
a very clear path for all of you of who the leaders are that are here that have their hand up saying, hey, whether you're in my downline or not in my downline, if you're looking, if you got a, 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 a someone who is very interested in 7K and has got some questions and you need that third party to jump on to help you get over the hump if you've bumped into a stumbling block, I know Mike Mandato, Derek French, myself, Bob Reed, and several other people in our, our organization, George Donaldson, are more than, Gary Caps more than happy to say, you call me if you bump into a wall. I don't care if you're in my downline or not. You can reach out to me. And if I'm not in the middle of something else already, you need me to hop on a call, I would be happy to. So I want to make sure we talk about how to do that, how to get that person on the phone. If you're new and you're struggling with trying, how do I present this to anybody? Follow the path that Bob's giving you here with prospecting. When they're ready to watch the video, show them the video. Once they've watched the video, do the follow-up the way Bob said. When they need that third-party endorsement, when you're looking for that three-way call, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Derek, Mike Mandato, uh, whoever else wants to put their hand up, maybe in the chat, say, here's how to find me via email or phone. Uh, we need to make, make you guys aware you are not, at this battle by yourself. This is not a, a, an army of one scenario. We are all moving the same direction and we're all very happy to help you if you get stuck. All right, Amy McKay, you are first. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday? Wasn't it your birthday like a couple days ago? No. No, my Facebook told me your birthday. Else. So never mind, but happy birthday okay. here anyway. What okay. Well, Okay, so this this is something that Bob mentioned. It's not a multi-level marketing company. It is a member direct company. So what is the difference? That's one of those major objections that people have. So explain to me what the difference is. I'm sure other people have the same question. Bob, you want to take that one? Yeah, What? What? Would, um, could you repeat it for me, Amy? Yeah. For some reason, yeah. I didn't quite hear it. What's the difference between multi-level marketing and member direct? Uh, that, that, that is a very good question. Now, notice how I answer her question. Mm -hmm. First of all, I acknowledge that she asked a very good question. Okay. Uh, so uh, multi-level marketing means that you have to achieve certain things on certain levels and have have different requirements and then those people that you have associated with you they have to achieve those type things on their levels and then then things on their levels and so most of those requirements the average person cannot do only the exceptional people can or the people who get in at the very beginnings of those companies and everything kind of rolls up to them because they were there in the beginning. That's the way the company started. Okay. That's a multi-level marketing company. And uh, the member direct marketing company is more like a referral income company. It's going to pay you commissions on, on, on not necessarily a limited group or level, it's going to pay you commissions on a we uh on a on a required uh minimum basis of activity that even an average person can do. So Let's take 7K, since the question is going to be with 7K. Let's take 7K. In most multi-level marketing companies, you have to sponsor at least to make the top level incomes, you have to sponsor at least 12 to 15 frontline people. And they have to have, you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of group volume. Well, tens of thousands of dollars worth of group volume, if a person is only buying, let's just use average numbers, $100, how many, how many people would it take to create a group volume 
uh, 10,000 with $100. Take a thousand people, right? No. So, I mean, 100 people, 100 yeah. people for $10,000. Well, if you create $10,000 worth of group volume in 7K, and you got half of it on one side and half of it on one, the other side, well, you're going to be able to get paid on if you just have one person left and one person right. And if that builds up over time, you're going to be able to get paid on nearly all of that volume. Whereas in a multi-level, you won't be able to get paid on that until you develop it over years and years and it accumulates to that because it takes a lot of people to get that kind of group volume. That's just with one. Now, I have a training that do, that describes different comp plans, and it's on the band app, that describes multi-level comp plans, unitary comp plans, and a binary comp plan. And we have a binary. And we have the simplest of simple binaries uh, because ours go to infinity on both sides. And, uh, and, and the average person in network marketing history, direct sales associates numbers, they sponsor 3.2 people. All you have to do is sponsor two. Another thing I everybody sorry, everybody well, can sponsor three point two, but yeah. I haven't ever met that point two person yet. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that I've I've always uh, when my, when I have this objection, Amy, is I point out that in every other network MLM multi level marketing, the member doesn't unlock all of the best benefits until they have met certain objectives underneath them. They have to have a certain number of people enrolled, certain amount of volume, certain status, and they get discounts on the products. With 7K, even if you've sponsored zero people, you have access to all the member benefits that are there as long as your autosaver is on, and they, they get no better. If I have 10,000 people in my organization, I don't get improved pricing on my silver. I don't get improved pricing on my healthcare. Uh, so as a, as a member direct company, I don't have to do anything with the business to have all the benefits of the membership. And then in a true MLM, I have to have a certain number of people underneath me in order to have the benefits that exist with that organization. That is so true. Thanks. That makes sense. You're welcome. Linda. And that's also another good reason that you have somebody else at can help answer you <laughs> that question instead of you trying mm -hmm. to answer it. Right. You know. Yep. Now, Bob, you, when you cut out there a second ago, I mentioned that over the next few weeks, we'd like to have you back at least a couple times to be a guest speaker. One of those nights, I would like to have nothing other than objection handling 101. Uh, the, I've done that a couple times. You participated, I think, on one of the team trainings I did last year. Um, but a lot of people have the same, the, a lot of prospects, I mean, have about the same seven or eight objections. Every once in a while, you get a wild one thrown at you. You're like, well, I don't know what in the heck that person's talking about. But for the most part, they're the exact same things. And I'd like to dedicate one night just to that so that you guys can get some scripting from Bob, some scripting from me. I'd love to have a few of the... Uh, a uh, couple of Bob's other leaders, maybe we get Wayne Clark to pop in that night. I'd love to have just a, uh, a smorgasbord, if you will, of some of the people that are succeeding in this business answer those questions and let everybody have that uh, to go. Uh, Tarita would be another one, great one to have on that call. She's been around. Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah. Get a little panel. How do you do it, Tarita? How do you say, Bob, what do you do to this one, George? I think that'd be a great thing for us to do. All right, Linda, you're up. Hey, Todd. Hey, Bob. Hey, I just wanted to chime in a little more on the MLM for Amy, because I've been selling for Rodan and Fields for seven years, and it is very different. I did not write my numbers last month for the first time in seven years, which means I will not get paid on anybody under me commission, and I, you only get paid down eight levels. So you're not going to make anything all the, you know, nine and more levels. And in, in 7K, you get the points for every single person. Um 
I just think it's it, just for doing that for seven years and this for three, this is a much better pay plan. And every month I have to buy a hundred dollars or more of skincare to be able to be paid the full commission where I would rather be being a coin, buying a coin, which is an asset every month than a product I may not be using. Yeah. So it, it's just, especially with the way the economy is to have these assets. And I've never had a savings like I have now either. Like you had said, Todd, um, with seven K. Hey, Linda, so, that is yes. so true. What you just said, and it just, it, it just, you know, verifies the qualifiers that it takes, but, Having infinity left and infinity right is what I try to, to, you know, want everyone to see that everyone here can be successful. If you give yourself enough time, that's why Richard Wayne and I, and from our mentor, Jim Rohn, both teach the same thing. Hang around the flag folk, be on meetings like this, make sure you're tagged in once a week. You're going to learn this business by osmosis. If anything else, it's just like church. If you don't go to church every week, you don't open up the word every week. Believe me, just because you read it once or two or three times back when you years ago, it goes away. You, this is something you have to be a part of. And you met, you've got to put those minimum amounts of time in because when you, when you have that team that develops to twenty five on each side, you got a five hundred dollar check. That that twenty five of them that's buying an auto saver once a month. Yeah, and, and that really won't take you five or ten years if you're working at it consistently, week in week out, doing the basics that that's been taught here. But you mentioned one other thing, Linda, and I that that I wanted to. Uh, to to hit on our economy. You saying you'd much rather be buying uh, a coin every month than a hundred dollars worth of extra skin care. And you probably can't even use all of that every month. So you probably ended up with more than you can use. And that's the way it is in consumption products and consumption MLMs. You end up with more than what you can get. And I'd rather be buying gold and silver to accumulate wealth, to earn more money, because you end up with something of value while you're learning to grow your income. And, and now if I can add one more thing, I'm sorry about the economy. I, like w I said, seven years, Rodan and Fields, I was making 500 to $1,500 a month. Last month I made about $150 because the people don't have the money to spend on the little foo-foo stuff, on the little health healthcare uh, drinks and the little lotions, like you say, lotions and potions. Um, nope. They're just delaying the replenishments because they don't have the money. And I get that, but you're but, buying, you're but, getting an asset with seven K. Okay. Linda, that, so you're that's, saving. Yeah, that's the point I'm about to make. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Well, you know, we hadn't hit, see, everybody here may think we've hit bad times. We ain't hit bad times yet. No, sir. We're, about, we're about to hit some bad times. We're on the prefaces of truly a, a 1929 crash. Uh, we're going to have a global economic reason. Any of that, any of you that were on my unrecorded training this past Saturday got a glimpse of what I know and what every major economist and every major uh Financial, financial advisor knows and whatever major wealthy person knows. That's why Ray Dalio just bought $44 million worth of gold. And I put that out this past Saturday. Not many people know that. And you say, well, who's Ray Dalio? <laughs> Multi-billionaire, you better know who Ray Dalio is. <laughs> okay. And, and what, what about Jeff Bezos seven, selling $7.5 billion worth of his own stock and the Walmart family selling $1.5 billion worth of their own stock? Well, why are, and uh, gee whiz, uh, oh, just forgot his name. But, Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah, Zuckerberg. 
all, all the big ones have been selling their stock for more than the past six months. And I reported that quite a few times ago on my Saturday training. But what do you think these people are getting? That Do you think they're holding it in paper? Trump doesn't even hold paper, y'all. It's assets people hold. Assets. And so what is gold and silver? Asset. Uh, when the economy drops, and we've seen it before, look, y'all, most of y'all aren't old enough to know this. Now, I've been, I went through the 70s. I went through the, the, the savings and loans crash, and I lost tens of thousands of dollars of my money was sitting in the Houston over in Houston and savings and loan. And one of the first ones to crash, by the way. And uh, uh, I, I went through the 80s, uh, the flat 80s, and uh, the real estate crash in, in, in the 80s. Credit. And I, oh yeah, I I saw, I saw 21% interest. <laughs> it was right and wrong, was 16% back in the early 90s. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but, I also remember I study network marketing companies. I, I it's just that it, it, I keep up with them. Do you know the companies that falter during bad economic times? It's product-based companies. It's because you're right. People can afford those products anymore and they give them up but let's take gold and silver gold and silver is real money if gold and silver is going to have an opportunity to make you more money that's going to be much harder for people to give up and how can i say that it's because i went through the 90s and i built a million dollar per year commission business off of gold and silver during some tough times. And people went went for gold and silver over products. Yep. And I will say that that will happen huge again. And we're all going to see it and we're all going to benefit and we're all going to help a lot of people when that time comes. When that yeah. time comes. Yep. True story. Bob, real quick, we we were so we are recording this and it's going to be out. And uh a minute ago, Bob was talking about tax implications and the benefits of that. And I want to really quickly put a little disclaimer on there so we don't get yelled at. We are not tax advisors, we're not giving you tax advice. Uh, whatever your personal tax situation is, is is only known to probably you and your CPA or your tax advisor. Please go to them and seek counsel on this. How does the home-based business thing work for me? And on that note, uh, there's a woman that did a TED Talk a few years back named Courtney Epps. It's E-P-P-S. And I always paraphrase this. I, Bob, correct me if I get it wrong, but I think it's why you're brain dead if you don't have a home-based business or something like that. Um, uh, why you're brain dead. That's right there. We'd probably say much more. You, you, you want to know why am I brain dead right behind that? You don't have a home-based business. So if you, whether you're a W-2 person or you're in retirement, you're paying taxes still, there are multiple benefits to having a home-based business. Go watch that. Bob and I may do a little of that in the Q&A too. Why is it so important to have this when we do that call? And then the other thing I want to say to what Linda mentioned a minute ago is, you know, that learning this business one of the things that I've heard over and over and over again on training calls, on one-on-one -on -one calls with, I'm not a salesperson. I can't say it like you do. I can't say it like Bob Reed does. I can't do it the way Mike Mondato does. You don't have to do that. Again, I want to pull back in again, this three-way call, your upline, the resources that you have are so critical. And I'm going to be very transparent. When I got into 7K Metals, I did not know what a numismatic coin meant. I didn't know how to spell bullion. I had no idea what the 7K Metals memberships were. All I wanted to do was get somebody on the phone that was interested and talk with my friends or family and then have them talk to somebody who I knew knew more than me. But the critical thing for you guys to understand is, Bob, what am I in now? Two, two, a little over two and a half years almost. Two and a half years I've been with 7K Metals 
And because I watched Bob Reed's videos until I was blue literally in the face over and over, and I listened to what he said, and there's a couple other people that I like their trainings too, and I listened to what they said. And then I would drive around or be in the shower or whatever I was doing, and I would be replaying how to say what Bob said. And if I couldn't get it quite right, I'd take notes the next time I listen and try again. Be a product of the bit a student of this business. Be purposeful in your daily activities. Not just the five to 10 hours a week doing what Bob said. Learn about two things, the network marketing industry and the precious metals market. Do your homework. Do I mean you guys are talking, you know, five hundred dollars a week. What would you do if you could just I, what would you not do if I said, hey, I'll give you $500 a week if you'll just learn these 16 terms about precious metals? Or I mean, it, it's not hard, but you do have to put in the time and the work. It doesn't come naturally. You're just not going to imagine to wake up and they go, poof, I know it all. You've got to spend hours and hours and hours learning these, the, these business techniques and, and tools that Bob talked about. And as I said, be a student of the business. I'm not remotely Bob Reed. But I can at least have an intelligent conversation. I know how to handle the objections because I listen to Bob Reed do it over and over and over again. Anyway, uh, Tarita, you're up. Aloha, Bob. Thank you again um, uh, also for such a great um, teaching. You know, I just wanted to say a word of encouragement. Um, I like what Tom said at the beginning. Um, I did direct sales. I understood. Come from a very... Mm, uh, well-known company, should we say. And what happened was um, my switch of mindset because this was totally a different product. I think one of the things too is look at yourself. There are many that are just going somewhere else or they're, everybody's just going somewhere else. I want to encourage you guys, do not look. The grass is not greener on the other side. You're not going to get any anywhere on the right or to the left. But I think one of the things when it comes to home-based business is to look at the overall, the overall thing of what is your need, not what somebody's trying to get you into, right? Because everybody's going to call you and try and say, get in here, go do this, that, doing this. When you know that you know that you know that that's what you're going to do and that's what you're doing, just grab grab the bull by the horn and just go for it. I, I too, um, did knew nothing. I didn't even know how to say numismatic. I still don't know how to say it. I, I couldn't. I was very bad. But I asked Bob. I was like, what the heck is that? But what I did was just gear it. All Bob can say, he knows it. We just threw everybody on the Zoom call. Every I think we had Zoom calls every single day. Every hour of the day. It was like, turn on Zoom call. Try to just go. And when people said, Trina, you didn't build your business. I said, well, I got, I got, my, maybe that's right. But I got the people there, but I let Bob do everything until we were able and comfortable to do our own things. So there's there's a lot of things. I like what Bob mentioned at, at the beginning. When you're looking, you got to measure and manage, literally measuring and manage this stuff. But so there's a lot of stuff that in encouraging um, understanding what is direct sales, what is multi-level marketing. The main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing, look at what, look at the economy system. I mean, we just had, Jared and I, and many of us was filling out some papers that we have to look into our businesses and make like really main decisions, some crucial decisions. And um, if it wasn't for Bob helping us out walk through this, I mean, I've been in here three years. I'm still walking through it. I'm still taking the class because we need we need more and more of that. So Bob, thank you again for this. And Tom, uh, Todd, thank you again for extending this, extending um, the classes. Really appreciate that. Well, thank you again for yeah. the seven weeks of, wow. <laughs> you know, Todd, uh... Tarita is one of these perfect examples of leapfrogging. Yeah. Tarita, Gary, the whole Hawaii group. And what she was saying, we did Zooms just about every hour for a long time. <coughs> I finally had to go over there to, to try and get some sleep because <laughs> Hawaii is five hours different from us. And so <laughs> having a meeting in the evening for them, you know, at seven o'clock, that would that's that's starting at midnight my time yeah <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, I remember so it, this is a funny story that I think a lot of people here will will take uh, something good away from. So uh, a lot of us have these people. I call them. There's whales and chickens. There's a great big whales out there that I know if I could get one of them, that leg is set. But I'm, you know, that's going to be someone you're going to have to spend a lot of time prospecting. Maybe pull them away from another company if they're not happy where they are. Whatever. Then you got your chickens. These are the people that you just you're. It's like you're. Uh, I don't want to talk to my cousin, you know, Bill, because. You know, he's always judging everything that I do. So you're chicken to talk to certain friends and family. I love the whales and the chicken list. Bob talks about taking his list. I want the whales and the chickens list too. I want the people below me's whales and chickens list. Because uh, Tarita is a great example of a whale. Bob, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, spent 52 hours on the phone prospecting Tarita. She wasn't a one-hit wonder. The first time he called her up, he didn't get a sale. He didn't get her to join. Didn't get her jump. Had 20 people the next day on a on a, on a call. Didn't happen that way, did it, Tarita? It was 50-something hours. Yes. And as Bob said, he finally said, I'm, this. I'm going oh, to Hawaii. Oh. I'll be there for, what is Bob, six days. And Tarita said, no, I need eight days, I think, or something like that. How, <laughs> how many people did you guys sign up? Tarita, again, I'll be, hold on, no, don't answer. Tarita knew nothing about numismatic coin business, none of this. She knew network marketing very well, but she knew nothing about this. She did have a nice sphere of influence. So Tarita had one job, don't like two jobs, don't say anything except come to a Zoom meeting. So Tarita bought everybody to a Zoom meeting. And Bob did the Zoom meetings, and then he went there and did them in, per in person in Hawaii. How many people do you guys sign up on those eight days, Tarita? 318. 300. Boom. 318. So don't give up on your whales with the first objection, the third objection, the tenth objection. Don't give up on them. Keep dripping at them. Do the things. Mm -hmm. They will eventually have a time in their life when the need points to that thing that Todd told me about back then. I know now I got to get rid of some of this cash and get some gold and silver. They'll call you eventually, but you should stay in touch with them because they could be your Tarita. Yeah, that's right. And you know, an, another thing too, Todd, with that is um, when you don't know, you shut up. Mm -hmm. That's all you do. Don't try to make figure out. No, everybody didn't. Everybody who I invited thought it was crazy because they knew me as a healer. <laughs> it was like, you don't know nothing about this. I said, I know I don't, but this guy does. And so, and, I, and it really, uh, there was, I, I could not get my brains wasn't wrapped around. I don't know, Bob, if you remember this, it was like, why do we have a 199? We should just have a 599. I mean, like a 499. Why do we have a 199? It's too complicated. I couldn't even, I could not wrap my my brains around that. So again, it, you're, you you just got to keep fishing and keep going and, and yeah, and wait for those big crazy whales to come leaping up. <laughs> yeah, one of the best things I've ever heard in sales classes throughout my years uh, is, and this might be back to Jim Rohn or J John Maxwell thing, is a prospect will always respect, I don't know, but I know somebody who does. Let me get that answer and come back to you. Don't wing it. Don't make it up. Don't be, People can smell the BS thing a million miles away. Um, don't hesitate to say, you know what? Uh, I'm, I like, I think Bob, this is one of your phrases. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of new with this. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'd like to just get you on a zoom call because I've got involved with something I think is amazing. And I just want you to see if what, do you see what I see? Would you come just let, look at this and let me know if you see something I'm missing. And now they're there more to help me than for themselves in some cases, but a lot of my friends and family signed up in that exact method. All right. Anybody else? Thank you, Tarita. All right, Bob, I think we got to wrap. I want to read one last, uh, um, Tom, um, I want to read, can you hear me? Yeah, I want to yeah. read, I want to read something that Bob taught us. Um, and it, it, it my, part of my testimony is just this. From the beginning, we focus on understanding the value of gold and silver. And we found a way that enabled us to empower our families in taking control of their finances. This is what Bob taught us. That's mm -hmm. all we did. In these times of uncertainty, instead of borrowing money and relying on a standard nine to five job or multiple jobs, people are becoming aware 
of the implications of spending time away from home and now their money is and how their money is managed. Individuals like you and me are beginning to preserve their finances and take control of their well-being by accumulating some money. This wouldn't have been possible without learning from individuals who have made very wise decisions and countless others who are as committed and dedicated as we are. It's from the beginning. This is Bob Reed's story that I wrote. Yeah. This is my story, but that's how we got that story is yeah. because of what Bob did for us. Yes. Gary Caps, the legend. What do you got, sir? I just I just want to say something real quick. I drove truck for 41 years. Retired four years ago, and I've been doing 7K three just over three years now. I wish I would have been doing 7K 41 years and driving truck three mm -hmm. because what a difference. I have over, I have a thought, what is a thousand, over a thousand coins in three years that I have in, and I never had a savings account really before. Mm -hmm. and, and, and look what I have to fall back on. It'll never go to zero. Yeah. Gold and silver, I'll never go to zero. And I am so thankful for meeting Bob in Cancun at the pool. Thanks, Bob. Hey, and how about all that bullion you got now, too? Not just those collectible <laughs> coins. I mean, that's right. You know, that's true. You, you, you and Carmen have, you know, preserved your wealth. I mean, you've, you've wisely converted paper to real money. And, and hey, hey, look. Share with them, Gary, just a little bit, because you and I, a few months ago, we were talking about buying, making a big buying gold. You remember that? Yep. I bought, I went and I bought gold and I, I checked it last night and I would, if I, I was a profit of $14,000. Just on in the, three months, just on the gold. Three months, just on the bullion you bought, where you converted that cash. To yeah. that bullion in gold, and you've made fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> ah. I, I uh, my numbers again. I I I I actually just kind of sat here and took a big when I heard, saw this. I've got over eighty five thousand dollars in numismatic coins in two and a half years, and I believe I'm right around five or six hundred ounces of bullion along with that, mostly silver. I do have a few of those are gold. But that that's well over a hundred thousand dollars of an asset that I've accumulated in two and a half years, and most of that is I've taken commissions and reinvested that in that. Um, you know, made some good decisions. I did sell a few. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't. This is not advice to you. This is what I did. I had a chance to liquidate some assets, and I converted that to to bullion originally, and then I started buying. I was I got my first numismatic coin. I went. I don't I don't even know what this numismatic thing is. I don't get it. What does an MS-70 mean? I got the coin. I went, uh-oh, I have a problem. I knew when I looked at that first coin that I had uh, an addiction that I was loving to feed for the first time in my life. So, yeah. so I want to say one hindsight thing. Monday night, I wish I would have bid $6,000 for that coin. <laughs> uh, I know. it's a one of I don't kind. bid against Gary anymore. He always outbids me. I can never... <laughs> <laughs> well, I backed away. Gary and I talked about it. I said, okay, I'm going to be fair. I'm not going to buy all these great coins. I'm going to let everybody else share the wealth. And, Gary. and, and when she bought it for 5000 I said, that was, you know, I even typed in it. I said, that's a great buy. No one will know how good a buy that is, but her, she, she will in the future. She will in the future. That's a one of a kind coin. It is. Gary. In a very unique set, the Kennedy series, mark my words, I'm going to just say mm -hmm. it right here. Now, this is Bob Reed, you know, so it may or not come true, but I go by my my knowledge of this newest, newismatic world. The Kennedy series will be one of the most valuable series that 7K has. It not only is a Miles Standish series, but out of the presidential series, it has the least amount of coins per coin in it than any other series. There's only 1973 
1973 of each ounce, uh, half ounce coin. And it doesn't mean that there's 1,973 MS-70s. That is the total production. So that is, that'll be comprised of some bullion and some MS-70s and some MS-69s or below, uh, up to gym, gym grade quantum quality, if they were graded, not remelted. But, uh, you know, it, it's time too, Todd, that in these Thursday trainings, it, I, it, it, I'm committed to this year kind of rehashing, redoing, updating all my trainings, especially in the numismatic world, because 7K has made so, so many advances in this industry. They're really the game-changing industry. Uh, I, 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 I stated it not too long ago, but... You know, they, uh, in less than three years, they became the number one retailer of MS-70 coins in the entire world. They yeah. they beat yeah. out Home Shopping Network. That was the largest retailer, by the way, of MS-70 yeah. Silver Eagles. And 7K, 7K just outplaced that. That's what caught Miles Standish's attention. That's what caught a lot of the big uh, coin dealers I'm talking about numismatic coin dealers. We call them numisticists. Uh, that's what caught their attention. Where, what, what, what is this company doing? How, how, what, how are they selling so many MS70 coins? Uh, because this this market's been around, and what most people don't understand, this is a 4.2 billion dollar global market. 4.2 billion dollar market. And that's a big market to 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 fit fit in, and uh, hopefully some of this will come out at the convention. But I know that Seven K is a leading company in this entire industry right now, and it's all because of them developing their own coin series, and now they mint their own coins, and. Those are some of the most valued coins in the modern collectibles marketplace today. And they're becoming the, the standards, the, the coins of the future. And we're the ones that have first opportunity to buy them. And, you know, a lot of these people that, that don't understand what they have in their hands and are dumping them, you know, and I'm a, you know, a lot of people I know are buying them and, they're buying them because the, they're getting in them at such great prices. Uh, and when, once once a coin gets below what it's called its cost, you know, I, I'm 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 a net buyer too. I've I've already bought. I'm, I'm going to just kind of share something I hadn't shared with too many people, but I've bought over thirty thousand dollars worth of coins from people. I said, if you're going to dump coins, you're going to go to the pawn shop and 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 give them away. I'll give you more than the pawn shop will. Okay. I'd much rather have my coins, my money, in in real value. And if a if other people are willing to buy them, you know, common sense says they got to be worth more than what I'm selling for. <laughs> if people if people are willing to buy them, the person that's selling them, it, it, it's really just common sense. They got to be worth more than what I'm selling them for. It's kind of like, you know, the art of negotiation. And to go to pawn shops and coin dealers to sell them, absolutely the worst place in the world to start with because they know you need money and they're going to start they. They, they try and get it a low spot. So lesson, just quick lesson. We need to do more of this, Todd, during these trainings. But quick lesson. Let's just take an MS-70 Eagle, okay? If an MS-70 Eagle is selling, if it's price, it's bullion price, the over 500 or the over 1500 price that you can get at any of the majors from a dealer, 
over 1,500 ounces. So if that price is $30, okay, well, that's the lowest price of that coin. That's a raw coin. It's not rated coin. Now, it takes money, time, and effort to grade a coin, to segregate them, to handle them, because if you handle them too much, you're not going to have perfect coin. So the handling process, the segregation, then to get them graded. So the what we call the typical grading cost rating and encapsulation and certification is 25 bucks. So $30 and 25 bucks means 55 bucks. Mm -hmm. I've seen people, they're willing to sell it for less than that. Hey, you want to sell your MS-70s for less than 55 bucks? Oh, just send them over to me. I'll buy what you got. And that's crazy. Okay? And, and, and so to sell it for anything less than that? You can't find them. If you find coins for sale for less than the cost of them, you better be thinking you're getting a fake coin. Because you better know how you can figure out how that coin inside that plastic is real or not. Because that's what got eBay and Amazon in so much trouble for for quite a quite a, for quite a long time until they decided, hey, it's good business for us to sell fakes. We'll just handle it. We'll we'll just deal with it legally. <laughs> and they still in the business of selling the Chinese fakes and the and Russian fakes and the Indian fakes. And don't ever buy coin. Don't ever buy a graded coin. My recommendation, don't ever buy a graded coin from eBay or Amazon. You're probably, you have a high probability of getting a fake graded coin. It's not really real. Okay. Whereas everything we get through 7K is certified graded coin. There is, there is none. It comes straight from the grader to us, to 7K, and then from 7K to us. And then that title is transferred. And same thing with stack and sell. That's why stack and sell is the only certified, guaranteed source to buy graded coins from. We're a one of a kind in this industry. Years from now, people will find out what that will mean to our 7K business. When I told you that this newismatic world is a $4.2 billion market, and we've got the only, the only certified, guaranteed place to buy newismatic coins for that back it up. And that's stack and sell. Pretty cool. Anyway, we we just had another whole training and Q and A here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know that's that's what the that's the gift of the people who take their time, who make the time to be here and hear these things. They they're the ones that get the knowledge first. And I commend each and every one of you for for stretching out your times and making time to get information like this. And because of that is why you're going to succeed bigger yep. than you really even realize. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's call it a night here. I, it's you know, two and a half two two fifteen and going on here. I appreciate everybody. Oh, wait, Linda's got her hand up again. Linda, what do you got? Just a quick question. Do you, does anyone know if the MS 70 coin sold out of the Kennedy? Yes, I think it did. The 70. Okay. Thanks. I don't know the answer. Well, uh, yeah, what was, okay. I, what? I just looked there. There was actually one of the um the to the moon ones available this afternoon, but they're all now sold out. Oh, no, there's um, one. That oh, was oh on, you mean uh, the drop you mean today? The, the yeah, the language? one that yes. yeah, I think yeah, yeah, it's sold, sold out. out. Yeah, all I four of them. Okay. Yeah, all four of them got, sold out. Yeah. I just looked. I, I, now, I got I one one two, but I got one. They put them in the products, and I put it on the band app. But I think no, no, no. I, today's drop. Today's drop. Today's drop sold out in the drop. 
Okay, because mm -hmm. I got one. I was hoping to get another one, but I didn't get a chance well, to get you, on another you account. Might, okay, here's here's what happens, okay? Just because they got it in a bag, okay, and they did sell out during the coin drop. Yeah. They weren't available. But here's right. what happens is if they go to process it and the person doesn't have funds or the funds does not process, they try mm -hmm. and get in touch with the person and let them know their funds didn't process. They'll go through that. But okay. if they can't get in touch with them, then that product goes back in 7K's inventory. That's how they end up with some extra product uh. is that. It sold out during uh, uh, the coin drop, but people didn't pay for them and didn't get in touch with them to pay okay. for them. So then they go back into the product list. And so what I tell people is 24 hours later, go check your product list. You okay. might find a few in there if you do. All right. Thank them. you. Yeah, I was picking up something from the airport and I couldn't get in my second account to do it, but I got one, but I've got two of all the others. So I want to try and have two of every of them, but thank you for that tip. I really appreciate it. There will be something for sale on Stack and Sell in two to three days, I promise. <laughs> I promise too. Yeah, I'm not yeah. paying high. <laughs> yeah. If you want to, you will, because that's the only way to get one now. Uh, Truth, I've paid a thousand for a coin that's worth 139. So yeah. I got you. <laughs> when you got to have it, you got to have it. Anyway, let's wrap right. this up, guys. As we're going out, if you want to say good night, come off mute, do so. Uh, we'll be back in some fashion again next Thursday with maybe just a QA with Bob and I. Uh, we might have some conversation around tax implications. We might have some conversations around. Uh, uh, the different 7K Metals membership uh, benefits that we've had some changes on. Bob is probably bar none, not probably he is bar none, the best at understanding the compensation plan. He's the best at understanding the member benefits and why you got to have them. So with that, thank you all very much. We'll Thanks. see you next week. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Todd. You guys Bob. rock. Good night. Thank you. Yeah.